Put your laugh on. <laughs> With the Ross Bar Morning Show. On, on the 518's only choice for hip-hop and R&B heat. Hot 99.1. 19 minutes past the hour. Brits here's got everything hot off the wire. What? What's up? It's hot off the wire. With Britney. Britney bitch. Hot Off The Wire is brought to you by We Fix Money. You've heard about WeFixMoney.com for years, and now you can get up to $1,000 in your bank account, sometimes within 24 hours. Whatever you need, log on to WeFixMoney.com. That's WeFixMoney.com. So at a show in Oakland over the weekend, Lil Wayne had this to announce. I just signed a deal with my mother I with Jay-Z. But by signing with Jay-Z, he meant joining title. So right. yes, Weezy is still with Cash Money and not Rock Nation. Don't believe the rumors. And I don't think fake, uh, you know, Baby and them are happy about that either. Yeah, probably At all. not. Yeah. Tyga still owes money in a sexual assault lawsuit that was settled back in February. You know, a woman claimed that he like drugged her with alcohol and then forced her to appear on camera topless. Well, she received a fifty thousand dollars settlement, but only got half. So, you know, I think Tyga's definitely got twenty five thousand dollars that he can pay that off with. I don't know what he's stalling for. Karuchi did yet another interview about her ex Chris Brown and the possibility of a friendship. I don't know if a friendship will necessarily work, but. I definitely want to keep on good terms. Uh, um, we're not in communication at all. Um, I can't speak for the future. Breezy didn't like it at all. He wrote on IG, it's so effing pointless to keep doing interviews about me. Then she clapped back saying that he does interviews. She mentioned him following her the other day and suggested that he man the F up and change the BS in his life. Wow. Then she mentioned all her acting projects, which I'm sure he doesn't really care about. But in true Chris Brown fashion, he did post a picture of the two of them wishing her the best and saying he was just trying to fight for the woman he loves. Is this the end of this drama or no? Not at all. Nope. Probably not. Nope. <sighs> just starting. Yep, basically. I'm angry, I'm angry, I'm angry, I'm angry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm angry, I'm angry, I'm angry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. I love you. Oh my gosh. In Ratchet Reality News, another project for Real Housewife of Atlanta, Nene Leak. She's starting her own chain of stores and she's starting it in Jersey, in Atlantic City. So that's good for her. And that's not good. Atlantic City. Atlantic City on the way down. Don't talk about Jersey like that. And life got a little bit tougher for Lamar Odom. It's a really sad story. His best friend, Jamie, died. He was only 37. You may remember him from Keeping Up With The Kardashians. He made that infamous video rapping with Lamar about cheating on Chloe. But um, Chloe did offer her condolences, and so did her best friend, Malika. And uh, not sure if Riff Raff is being delusional again, but I hope not. But he says his new album is going to have Drake, Lil Wayne, Kanye West, and Justin <laughs> Bieber on it. I don't believe it. And tops at the box office, Jurassic World wow. set a record. Uh-huh. How much do you think they made globally? 200 400 million. 511 million dollars. Wow. I thought the movie was Albert. awesome. Was the movie good? I didn't see it. I, don't know. I saw it. I thought it was great. Great really? family movie. That's not yeah. my type of movie. I wouldn't go see it anymore. It made $204 million this weekend. Mm. Yeah, I heard. In America. Man. You know it was a good movie? What? These I nuts. love Spy with Melissa um, uh, McCarthy. <laughs> She's hilarious in everything. She's hilarious. Yeah. Okay, yeah. I'm Britt and Falfrida. That's your hot out the wire. You can tweet me at 2 Pretty Britty.